Right here is okay, anything below that's low. Right here is okay, anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands with all times, above all, protect yourselves with all times. Let's go. Both of these guys, real professionals, no ridiculous posturing or talking or anything like that. They're here to fight. He's four knockouts, he can bang too. Well, we'll see how it unfolds here. It's the footwork I want you to watch at Lomachenko. It is extraordinary. Here we go. They touch gloves. The southpaw is Lomachenko. This is round number one. It's scheduled for 12. At stake, the WBO Junior Lightweight Championship of the World at 130 pounds. Nobody's got off just yet. This Walt is fainting, trying to get in on him. They're trying to land a right hand. If you're Walters, you want to try and make him feel your power early. If you're Lomachenko, you might just want to cruise for the first couple of rounds, feel him out, see what you can do. And Christine, I think you talked to Lomachenko about that. That's exactly what he said, Colonel. He says, I'm going to give it about four rounds to feel him out. And I, it's rare you, you hear a fighter actually call out the round, but he, he is special. And he said, not to say I'm going to give away those rounds, but I'm not fully going to pressure this fighter until after about four rounds because he has such good defense. His proportions are perfect and he knows exactly what to do in the ring. He's smart too, so I'm gonna take my time. Both of these guys showing great respect for each other at this stage with a minute gone in round number one. Watch Lomachenko work though. Little bit of movement with his gloves just to see how Walters reacts. Little bit of movement side to side, upper body movement is what he uses a lot. Colonel mentioned his footwork, which is excellent. He's always on balance, leverage. It gives you angles also, and that really is an important uh, aspect of his success. Yeah, he has a tendency, Rich, to step around guys and blindside him with shots. And any fighter will tell you the fight, the punch that you get hit with that you don't see is one that hurts you. And Lomachenko tries to do that. Not well, much between them here in the first uh, half of this first round. Walter's signature win was the spectacular knockout of Nonito Donaire two years ago. He has not ascended those heights since then, but he feels tonight could be the night that he does that with his power. By the way, that fight with Donaire, he was in a bad way at the end of the, I believe it was the second or third round, he got really tagged by Donaire, and he showed the ability to withstand and come back, and that was important. We don't know that about Lomachenko yet. We may find out tonight. Well, in that fight at 120, Six, that was the division that originally we thought we were going to see this fight at that the fans wanted to see last year. It didn't get made, but look, they're both fighting now at 130, a, a title on the line, and that's exactly what Walters wanted was a shot at the title, and now that Lomachenko has won that title at 130, the fight got agreed to, uh, agreed upon it, and here we are. Difficult round to judge. I think Lomachenko's probably landed more than has uh, Walters in the first round. He's picked it up in the last 30 seconds to try and be sure he wins this round. See that? He almost walks by his guy. Then he clipped him there to make it definitive. And what was going to be a very, very difficult round to score for the first two and a half minutes all of a sudden becomes an easy 10-9 round now. Lomachenko round for sure. Yeah. And I don't think that's so much of a slow start for him. It's not too bad. Well, I, I don't know if you'd want to start any faster against a guy that can bang like Walters, exactly. get a few rounds in, wear him down a little bit, test what you can do with your jab. I want you to watch the folks, uh, the way he almost walks by his man and gets to his side and then he'll throw an overhand shot and blindside him. It's, it's quite extraordinary as we listen to Celso Chavez. Another thing about Lomachenko to watch tonight is he seems equally comfortable fighting outside or inside. He's a, he's a better inside fighter than people give him credit for because everybody's talking about all these other aspects, but he can fight on the inside as well. Well, besides the foot speed, he's got a nice hand speed too. Lomachenko, the south part of the right of your screen, the blue and white. A little bit of red on it, high tech on his side, and he is a highly technical fighter. Now you take a look at the uh, style of uh, Nicholas Walters. I've always liked his style. You know, it's a it's a it's a uh, compact style. If you see, he's got his hands up high in a defensive stance. He keeps his elbows close, tight to his uh, to his body, and so he uses all all of that to help him defensively. But he does have, as Colonel mentioned, that one punch power. 
His left jab, because he holds it up high, Colonel, is it actually comes down a lot of times towards towards opponents, which is unusual. A lot of the fighters, you know, you see them bending down. The Jeff, Jeff left jab will come from uh, down below, but from uh, Walters, it actually comes from up high. Walters looks like he might be a little bit taller, but no, they're both 5'7", exactly the same height. Walters cut loose with the right hand. Walters again to the right of your screen now. Yellow socks, black, yellow, green trunks. That's the color of the flag of Jamaica. He trains out of Panama. He speaks English and Spanish. Quite a unique guy. Great personality in Nicholas Walters, too. So he has the all the abilities and the, the package to be a star, and, and he is. I, I think he's very much, I mean, this fight for Lomachenko, we said this is a special fight because he knows the caliber of fighter Nicholas Walters is. Both of these guys, by the way, are top-ranked fighters, too. Bob Barham and uh, the Brain Trust that do the match banking. Mr. Moretti, Mr. Trampler. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know that a lot of the other top-ranked fighters in this weight division or around these weight really wanted to fight Lomachenko. But Nicholas Walters wanted to fight Lomachenko. Yes, he did, and now he's getting into it. Nice inside body shot, an uppercut by uh, Nicholas Walters. And you'll see their feet come together quite a bit, a little bit of the stepping on the front foot, which, Colonel, you always talk about how that happens a lot between an orthodox and a southpaw fighter. Yeah, it does, and, and when you're fighting a like that when there's an orthodox and south but you got to work to get your foot to the outside to have the positioning yeah these guys don't even seem to be concerned about that at this stage but if they get tied up and start stepping on each other they'll they'll concentrate more on that and the way uh, lomachenko moves on his feet he he'll be to the outside of that outstretched left foot of uh walters quite a bit tonight him slide around there again didn't get off when he took the walk by see him slide around again didn't throw again. Back in position right in front of Nicholas Walters. Walters stands flat foot now and allows him to come in. Lomachenko again gets to his side, cuts loose with a shot. Steps in front of him, lets the jab go. Walters right there, right in front of him. Trying to reach for him. And again, you know, the second round, Lomachenko outboxed him, so. File it away is the right uppercut of Nicholas Walters, which I think might be the best that Lomachenko has faced. I mean, ever, uh, we haven't seen it flashed yet, but Walters has an outstanding right uppercut, which he can use from in close, mid-range, or from long range. If you remember when he fought uh, Darchinian, he knocked Darchinian down with a right uppercut from long range. When he fought uh, Donaire, he knocked Donaire down with a right uppercut from mid-range. So that's something we can look for when they're on the inside. This is round three. It's scheduled for 12. Again, the WBO super lightweight 130 pound championship on the line. No, I said super. I meant junior lightweight. Stop, 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 stop. Lightweight being 135 pounds. Here we go. Straight left hand down the middle. That's the power punch for the southpaw. There he goes, walking by again, but not throwing the punch. Another thing that, that I'm noticing here that I had sort of forgotten is that Walters moves very well on his feet, too. He's out of there very quickly, Rich. Yes, you know, he, he because of the fact that everybody's been talking about Lomachenko's incredible versatility in the ring. He is like a professor of boxing in there. People have tended to downplay what Walters can do in there. Well, I think Walters has turned it up a notch in this round. He caught the uh, woman chicken with a real good hook to the body right behind that right elbow. In the last volley of punches. Cracked him with the right hand. And just missed with the uppercut you were talking about as well. Rich. Yeah, he really hasn't shown that much. We'll wait to see if he has the opportunity for that. Well, and that's the hardest thing when you fight a fighter like Vasily Lomachenko is that, can you hit him? Can you catch him? Because his footwork is so good, his feet are on one side, he's throwing punches from the other side. Everyone wants to know if, if Walters will be able to knock him out, but you got to catch him first. A slick movement, but uh, Walters uh, is avoiding a lot of shots thrown by Vasily in this round. See, he, you know, he comes in, he 
caught him with the right hand there, threw three or four punches, caught him with one right hand. <laughs> but Walters has landed a few in this round as well. <laughs> Of course, because of the defensive acumen of uh, Lomachenko, it's it's difficult to get a clean shot on him. But on the other hand, really Lomachenko has not landed a lot of uh, blistering stop, blows stop, stop. to the head of Walters either. I'm leaning towards Walters in this round with 10 seconds to go. Yeah. The harder punches that I saw landed, and this is professional boxing as I say that. <laughs> Love it, Chico. But I mean, there was that where judges will disagree. Because some will say, yeah, well, he won the first two minutes, and therefore I'm going to give him the round. Others will say, how much damage did the guy do? And that's where the controversy comes from. Glad and, you brought that up. And that's why you get some of these scores just that's all right. over the place. That's right. This isn't like that so far. Now, Rich, I will ask you, do you agree that, uh, or disagree that Walters won the uh, third round? I think I disagree. Um, so you so, and I are totally uh, at odds. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, you've called 1,005. <laughs> yeah, but I've scored over 10,000. This is the fourth round for the Chelsea. A nice tight venue, seats about 3,500 people. It's jam-packed on a holiday weekend here. It's Thanksgiving in Las Vegas, Nevada. Cosmopolitan Hotel, Vasily Lomachenko in the blue trunks and in the uh, black with the gold and green trunks is uh, Nicholas Walt, is a former world champ. Uh, he was pushed down. Tony says, no, no, no. By the way, for you folks watching in New Zealand, Tony Weeks, uh, who is one of the best, especially heavyweight guys, he's a big, solid guy. A weightlifter himself in great shape will be handling the heavyweight fight between uh, Andy Ruiz and Joseph Parker down in New Zealand. And they couldn't have selected a better, more qualified referee to do a heavyweight championship fight. The Walters corner is calling for body shots from Walters. They want him to do more body work. And it it's just so hard to catch Lomachenko. That's the problem. I think, but I think that's the good idea. I think that's that's the way he should probably progress here for enough for a round or two at least, so that he can start touching. He has been flashing that right hand of his. He tried again, but it's such a difficult proposition. It's so to frustrating, Rich. So frustrating for him. He tried to tried to tried to land a couple of body shots here, and just the bounce of Lomachenko made him, you know, made those punches much lighter. Lomachenko has a little bit of that redness on the on the right side of his body, which is where Walter's left hand is, has attempted to, to land a power shot there. It just hasn't happened yet. Lomachenko is a guy who's considered the greatest amateur who's ever fought. It's hard to argue with a record of 396 and one. Well, I don't think anybody's had a record like that. <laughs> so, uh, two Olympic gold medals, two world championships in the amateurs. Tony Weeks says, "Don't uh, bang him behind the head. You pull him on the end." Well, let's what are we see. see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if he turns it up a notch now, as he told Christina he would. This is round number five, again, scheduled for 12, world title fight. WBO 130-pound uh, junior lightweight championship of the world. Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Rich Murata, Christina Poncho, our principals in there. Vasily Lomachenko to the left of your screen with the blue and white. And in the uh, black trunks with the green and gold is uh, Nicholas Walt, who's a former world champ. Two champions in there. South powers Lomachenko, jabs at the right hand. And he, and he definitely looks like he wants to pick up the pace, Christina. So let's see stop, 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 if he can stop, stop. be more effective now in picking up the pace. Walters needs to pick up the pace, too. He needs to let his hands go. His best shot in this fight is, is working and working and, and throwing more punches, and he's just not doing it yet. No, he's not. He, he, he's landed a couple of decent body shots, one in particular from a couple of rounds ago. But other than that, uh, he's been outboxed by Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, and now Lomachenko definitely 
uh, has turned it up a notch. Does that step around, quick jabs with the right hand. When he does launch the punches from long range, you can see that Walters throws punches with speed. So he's got power, but speed of hand as well. And he went for the uppercut. That one landed a little south the border. Tony warns him, and uh, he looks at uh, the Vasily and says, you good? He says, yeah, he's OK. There's that step around again where he's got his uh, thigh like up by his hip and blasts him with the left hand on the inside. It really takes him far to the right, which gives a very unusual and difficult and uncomfortable angle for uh, his adversary in the ring. Yeah, well, you can't hit him when he steps by you like that. You get no leverage with your left hand, and unless you can spin around and pivot. But he's got that block because he's got his leg right next to you, his left leg right next to your, your left leg. Another thing to love about Lomachenko is the fact that this is a guy that wants challenges. You know, he's fighting really good fighters. You know, he too wanted to fight Walters. And, uh, you know, Walters is a big challenge for him. Uh, but, he, you know, he told Bob Arum when they first signed him that he wanted to fight for a pro title in his first professional fight. They couldn't get that put together. But it wasn't long after that that he did fight for a world title. I mean, this guy's already had two world championships in, the, in seven fights. And every fight, Stop, all I he wants you. is yeah. meaningful fights. He's exactly. like, I don't want tune-up fights. I don't want fights against guys that aren't either for a world title or at the top of the division. He's 28 years old, and he's had his, uh, you know, his, his time as an amateur fighter, more time than most, and now he's ready as a professional. He thinks to fight the very, very best, and so far, so good. Very, very successful, and he's had another good fifth round where he did, in fact, as Christina pointed out to us before the fight, that this is exactly what he wanted to do. They what both wait, they both bust it. That's something they haven't seen. <laughs> because Let's the judges some. don't agree all the time. Yet we, you know, we view fights much the same way, and so do they. But there's not a lot of difference in, in some rounds, so I'm glad that happens. Okay, we head to the sixth round in the scheduled 12 round affair. Lomachenko turned it up a notch in the last round, a little adrenaline flow. Now let's see if Walters can do the same thing, because he needs to do that. He needs to get to the body of Lomachenko, and he needs to throw that uppercut. By the way, I, I think we should mention, because we haven't so far in the telecast, for fans watching around the world who may not have heard of things in the last couple of weeks, that Lomachenko is being touted as a possible future challenger not right away, but oh, maybe oh, oh, a year, year and a half no, for no. Manny Pacquiao, no, which was surprising to many. But he's, he's up here fighting at 130 tonight. He could fight at 135, and maybe he says he would fight Pacquiao at 140. Pacquiao says he could easily come down to 140, that he felt that it would be easier for him to fight. Yeah, we, we talked about that yesterday in the fighter meetings. And, you know, he said maybe in one or two more fights. I still need a few more fights before I'm ready. But, you know, to Vasily, the big question is at what weight class? The highest that he does see himself going up in his career is 140. So how soon does he want to make that jump? And, and if when he does, is he going to stay there or just go up for a Pacquiao fight and come back down? Uh, obviously, he didn't want to talk too much in the future, but he said he never he never would have thought when he signed with Top Rank that Pacquiao would even be a possibility. Well, well I, as long as Bob, uh, Bob Aaron's promoting, it's a possibility. He'd like to get a few more fights on a Manny. It's all in Manny's, uh, you know, mind what he wants to do. He's very serious about his political career in the Philippines, but he's also a guy that I've never seen come into the ring where he wasn't in ready to fight in top shape. But he is getting up there in age. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, say that that fight is inconceivable because I never thought I heard anything more ridiculous than when it was first suggested that Pacquiao take on Oscar De La, De La Hoya. Hoya. Yep. <laughs> I asked Freddie yeah. Roach, I remember asking him on our, the radio show that I was doing at the time if that was a joke, if he was serious about it. We all know what happened with that. But I think Vasily wants to stay at 1.30 for a bit. And I, I mean, we, we talked about our, our next fight coming up December 10th with Terrence Crawford. I'd like to see Terrence Crawford in there with with Manny Pacquiao before before talks of a, a Lomachenko fight. But look, he, he's, he's doing quite well at 1.30, so we'll see how anxious he really is to move up. Colonel Walters is not having any success no. here in the last couple of rounds. Yeah, and he's have, certainly having no success here in the sixth round. Cuts loose with the right hand that time. We haven't seen the uppercut yet that Rich has been telling us uh, could come, and we've seen in previous fights and from two different spots in the Rick Dachinian fight as uh, well as the uh, Nino, Nino Donaire fight. 
faints a couple stop, times, stop. Up, and Lomachenko up. just smothers him. But there's no question from the fifth round on that Lomachenko turned it up a notch. And he may have won all the rounds in the fight. The, the only one that I could possibly give to Walters was three, and Lomachenko has won everything else, in my uh, opinion. Okay, Rich, this is a chance to see Lomachenko's right hand here now. All right, he's, he's uh, pumping it up. There's no question about it. Now, there's Walters trying the jab. He hasn't had much success. Look at the pivot right off of that punch. As soon as he landed that punch, he just pivoted away. Hit and get out of range. And there, a little wise move inside, kind of pushed Walters aside. One of the problems here tonight for Walters, Colonel, is his inability to land the jab. You know, a guy like this who fights in a conventional style, hands held high, orthodox style, he wants to work off of his jab. Yeah, the left sure. jab. He can't land it. No, he can't. We move to the second half of the fight. This is round seven. We're at the Chelsea. It's a beautiful theater here, beautiful for fight fans. Everybody's got a great seat. The Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, Nevada in the USA. Two terrific champion fighters in there. Nicholas Walters, who held the title. Had a couple of weight divisions, and now Vasily Lomachenko has held uh, world titles. And only his eighth professional fight, but we've talked uh, quite a bit about his uh, amateur career. And that's why he's so successful at age 28 and only in his seventh professional, fight, or rather eighth professional fight. Six victories, four knockouts. Just a master box. There's that step around again. But more often than not, when he comes around now, that time he was able to land the punches. He got an uppercut in there and blindsided him with the right hand. Look at it, steps around. But more important, as we pointed out, when he does that step around, he's right next to the body of his opponent, in this case, Walters, and Walters can't figure out what to do. He can't land that right hand. I mean, he's completely taken away Walters' ability to land that power that power shot with his footwork, the way that he moves it, Lomachenko's right, which is Walters' left. Exactly right. And here's Lomachenko turning it up a bit. <laughs> Missed his wild shot, as did Walters. Walters misses his left hook. But Lomachenko catches him downstairs, cracks him with the right hand upstairs, bangs that left ear, gets the jab out there. Lomachenko's work output is increasing from all areas. Look at in his punching, in his movement, in his stop, angles. Stop, stop, stop. Here we go. And Here Walters we go. right now has no answer for it. No, he doesn't have an answer, and his legs looked a little bit weak as he was pulling out of there as well. Well, maybe uh, the accumulation of punches here at the halfway point in this fight is beginning to catch up with Nicholas. As that step around again, he blindsides him, and there is no answer for that. I've never seen anybody else able to execute that move. And especially for the southpaw against the right-handed fighter. That time he uses the forearm. Lomachenko again outboxes him on the inside. Where's Walter's uppercut? Look at the hand speed there of Lomachenko. That was the thing that shocked me about Lomachenko the most was when he fought Gary Russell, who has incredible speed. And it turned out in the fight and their exchanges that Lomachenko turned out to be the faster guy. Hey, look at Lomachenko here, Stop. left Stop. hand lead. Stop. Let him go. Tony's get in there and says, don't hook down on those hands. Walters is completely confused. And Lomachenko's only picked up the pace. He certainly has. And again, the arms get tied up again. Lomachenko pulls up and makes sure <laughs> the referee understands what's going on here. That's a terrific Nick. round for Lomachenko. Go ahead, Rich. I'm looking at Walters in the corner. He looks very discouraged to me as he hangs his head over the ropes. And he didn't want to talk about the 11 months that he hasn't been in the ring. And I know we haven't brought that up that much because it's not the first time. He's fought once a year for the last couple years. So his team's like, it's not a big deal. But he looks completely exhausted right now. He does. Is he quitting? He's getting in Tony Weeks' ear about something. He got off his seat. I think, I, I'm not sure if no, Nicholas nope. Walters He's is going to continue. He's That's done. it. All over. The fight's all over. He quit in the he, corner. He quit. Like See, this. exactly. Watch this uh, in here. Here he is. He stands up. He says to Tony, no, I'm done.
You, you can tell, he, it looks like he's saying he didn't want any more. No, no, he shakes it's his head all no. over. And he walked right across to Lomachenko to congratulate him. The official time comes at the end of round seven as the challenger informs referee Tony Weeks he is unable to continue. The winner by TKO victory and still WBO super featherweight champion of the world, Vasil High Tech Lomachenko. So officially a TKO after seven rounds. Walters quits on his stool and will try uh, to get in there, both uh, HBO and the United States.